Hello and welcome everyone. This is Veronika Klausova, Cisco NetSec Technica Marketing Engineer. In this demo, we are going to showcase Rapid Thread Containment RTC feature in action. RTC is basically a combination of features from two different products, which, which are FMC and ICE. More specifically, it's leveraging FMC's correlation policy components and ICE Endpoint Protection Service EPS that is acting as a remediation module. With this, FMC has an ability to execute remediation actions that are triggered by a correlation event. For example, when malware event occurs, FNC can instruct ICE to quarantine or deactivate ports on the endpoint through the ICE. So as a first step, let's revisit existing already pre-configured access control policy firewall rule set that is being applied to the managed devices. So in the, in the line number one, we see the rule that we are going to leverage in later phases of this demo. It basically says that any host that has assigned source SGT with quarantine system tag will have blocked all communication across FTD. This rule will be used for the users that violates company policy that we will define in correlation rules. Then the second two rules are basically saying that Active Directory Client 1 has restricted communication to outside web server and any other AD clients are allowed to communicate to the outside web server. Now, we are going to do the traffic generation to confirm that the existing rule set works. So from the client 2, we generate traffic to outside web server. And as you can see, the communication is allowed as per the configure access control rule number three. Now, mo moving forward, this feature utilizes the connection between FMC and ICE. So that's why we need to make sure that the integration is configured on, on the FMC. So we need to provide the name of ICE, the root CA certificate in case of PX grid and MMT servers, and FMC sign certificate. Then we, since we are using passive identities in the rule set, we will enable session directory topic, but we are also leveraging SGTs that we, they are, we are downloading from ICE. So that's why the SXP topic is also enabled. With the test connectivity button, we can review that this communication, FMC and ICE is in the current releases in Firepower 6.6 .6 and ICE 2.6 that's being used for this demo is leveraging PXGrid 1.0 protocol <coughs> and a Jabber connection XMPP. This can be reviewed further from the logs uh, details from the test connectivity. In order for FMC and ICE communication to be successful, we need to make sure that ICE accept certificate-based connections from the, from the FMC basically from any other PS grid client automatically or we need to upload such connection under PS grid services all clients in administration um, section. Uh, once uh, communication is successful we can we can see that FMC is online and is also subscribed to the remediation module which is endpoint protection service EPS on the ICE. Cisco ICE offers two remediation modules, which are ANC, Adaptive Network Control, and EPS, Endpoint Protection Service. Those are the same functionalities. However, the EPS communicates with Firepower over PX Grid 1.0 protocol, and ANC communicates with Firepower using PX Grid 2.0. Since in this specific integration, we are using FNC 6.6 .6 and ICE 2.6 versions, we are using the PXP 1.0 protocol and therefore we are going to be referring to the EPS as a remediation module. ICE remediation module allows us to define set of the po different policies. 
each policy can help define a relevant remediation action, which could be quarantine host, shut down the port where the host is connected, do the port bounce, or re-authenticate the port. Those policies can be assigned manually or in programmatic way. So for example, with our integration with Fiber Management Center, when certain event occurs, so for example, some connection event towards specific destination or some malware event occurs, the FMC will can instruct ICE to quarantine the host in the programmatic fashion. The, the ICE server also provides the ability to change security group tags when an EPS status change. So for example, in our use case, the policy set is monitoring whether the EPS status has changed and is equal to quarantine. Then in such case, it assigns the user the SGT tag quarantine system that we have defined in our access control policy rule set on FMC. And when the host is quarantined and uh, has assigned this SGT and trying to communicate across FTD, the communication will be blocked until the host is unquarantined. So as mentioned before, FNC has something called correlation policy that allows to monitor certain type of events such as connection event, malware event, intrusion to any or to specific destination host. Upon which when it triggers, it can perform a remediation action. For this to work, the administrator needs to set up a correlation instance. Correlation instance is basically a remediation module. FNC provides a set of the built-in remediation modules. However, administrator cre can create its own modules as well. Since we have already configured ICE to perform EPS actions and connected FMC to ICE, now the, those two components can talk to each other. Therefore, we can move ahead and configure PXGIT mitigation remediation module instance. Uh, we provide the instance name, so let's call it EPS instance. Let's keep enabled the logging for uh, troubleshooting purposes and create. And we can create remediation actions. We can mitigate source or mitigate destination. In this use case, we are going to mitigate source. And our mitigation action would be quarantine. But from dropdown, you see, we can do quarantine, shutdown, or unquarantine action. We create this remediation action and save our settings. If needed, we can assign multiple remediation actions at the same time. So one for source and one for destination. Host, for example. Now, at this point, our instance is successfully created. And uh, in order to leverage this instance, we need to configure correlation policy and correlation rules, and then associate the response to be our instance. So we create first the correlation policy, and now we need to create the rule. So basically, the rule is saying what action is going to trigger remediation. So for the demonstration purposes, we are going to uh, trigger the correlation rule when connection event at the beginning or at the end of the connection is seen. And in the connection event, we have information about responder or destination IP address that is equal to 192.168.25.46 IP address. So this is our outside web server. So if a user navigates to this web server and uh, 
trigger the connection event, it should trigger the remediation action from FNC to the ICE. Now, we need to associate this correlation rule to the policy management and most importantly, assign the response. So what will happen when the rule triggers? So we are going to quarantine the source host when he's accessing the web, web server specified in our rule set. So let's uh, have a look uh, into this scenario in action. So we are navigating to the client PC. So we are logging as a user client 2, which was having previously allowed web traffic to the, to the, to the server. And in this case, in our first attempt, we get a response from the web server because per our access control policy rule set, the traffic is permitted. However, this specific action should trigger uh, the correlation rule. So for validation purposes, we can review that correlation event has been logged into the system. And indeed, we have matched the correlation policy and a rule that we previously configured. Now we can review the correlation status to see if FNC was able to successfully quarantine user. And based on the result message, we see that this has been successful. From the connection events, we see what type of traffic is passing through our appliance and we can confirm that the traffic or connection event that we have specified in the correlation rule is being locked. So our client was trying to access the web server at 192.168.25.46 IP address, which is our condition to trigger the remediation action. From the details table view of connection events, we see that this traffic has been initiated from Active Directory client to PC. And uh, currently the source SGD is coming from the users. Now, if we try to attempt to access the same site or anything, any other resources through FTD, the traffic will be blocked because now the user uh, has assigned the quarantine system SGD tag for which we have rule to block all traffic flows that are crossing the FTD. As a validation step, we can refresh the, our connection events table and we see that for same host going to the same destination IP address or web host, the traffic is now being blocked and having a closer look, we see that source SGT tag has been updated to quarantine systems from the ICE and now the traffic is matching the, the rule number one, which is quarantine users. This concludes the video demonstration. So thank you very much for your attention.